In the heart of 6th century Ireland lived a man named Columba of Terraglass. Columba founded a monastery in Clonig, and entrusted it to his disciple Fenton, before returning to his home of Terryglass to live out the rest of his days. Fenton of Clonig would go on to be styled the father of Irish monks, and is remembered today as Saint Fenton. The monastery would continue to flourish for centuries, until persistent harassment from the Roman Church forced the monks to embark on an arduous migration. The monks first sailed to the northeast, making a brief pit stop on the Isle of Man. They then took their talents west, landing on the Arctic island of Amitsuk in southern Greenland. However, the harsh winters would take their toll on the nomadic monks, forcing them to again vacate. The monks sailed south, and then to the east, and then a little further east, until finally finding a tiny island in the Roskilde Fjord in present-day Denmark. The worn-down monks fell in love with the tiny island, and marveled at how much it reminded them of the home they left behind in Ireland. One monk remarked, Hikast Ilior, meaning, here is the golden island. The island would henceforth be known as Elor. These Irish Orthodox monks thrived off the coast of Denmark in their new monastery for about 600 years, until the Reformation came along and spoiled their party. The Danes would eventually attack the island and burn the monastery to the ground, evicting their Irish subletters once and for all. The monastery's last abbot, Oscar, peered over the ruins of the monastery and remarked that the kingdom would one day return. In 1834, a Danish historian named Frederick Barford founded a boys' school with the help of a local charity. The school offered the majority of its lessons free of charge and created a tight-knit community amongst the students and the faculty. Roughly a century later, the language teachers at the Barford School decided to establish a society devoted to free education. They named the society Societas Fendani, naming it after an Irish saint who also taught his pupils free of charge, Saint Fenton. On April 9, 1940, the Germans marched into Denmark, establishing it as a protectorate. Three years later, the Nazis changed Denmark's status, placing it under direct military occupation. The teachers at the Barford School found themselves trapped in the war-torn quagmire of Europe. They made the radical decision to begin searching for a place outside of the school grounds to establish their own state. In the Roskilde Fjord, they found just the place, the tiny golden island of Elor. On August 27, 1944, a deal was struck between the current owner of Elor and Societas Fendani, and the kingdom of Elor became a reality. Today, Elor has roughly 300 residents, though the island is only inhabited for one week in the summer, which is aptly dubbed Elorian Week. Elorians like to say that they are simply returning to their home after a 51-week holiday abroad. Over 1,000 years after Oscar peered over the ruins of his monastery as it burned at the hands of the Danes, the kingdom of Alor, inspired by the same Saint Fenton, remains. <laughs>